The North Shore Health Department orders the evacuation of six brand new Glendale apartments. Yeah, this after data shows they contained elevated levels of a cancer causing chemical in the air. Our Sam Kramer live in Glendale and Sam, what else do we know right now? Well, hi there, Mary. We know tenants just moved in here at this building at the Lydell just within the last few weeks, and it's the exact same chemical that forced the evacuation of an entire Milwaukee apartment complex a few months ago. The chemical is trichloroethylene, or TCE for short, and the health department says that testing revealed TCE levels here that were 10 times higher than what's called the vapor action level. That is the threshold they use to determine uh, when someone could feel some of the symptoms due to that exposure. Now, they became a Aware of this last month after the owner, Cypress Residential Development, conducted some preliminary testing. And the order comes as a surprise for people living in different apartments here at the Lydell. It is concerning, to say the least. Um, you know, I, I guess I hope that's not happening in, in, uh, in my apartment, but it's something that I would want, you know, the developers and the, the owners of this place to look into. Now, the North Shore Health Department's public health officer tells me that she has heard that people living in two of those six affected apartments did experience symptoms uh, that are consistent with TCE exposure, but they cannot confirm if that's actually due to that exposure or something else. We have a much more on this coming up tonight at 9 and 10. For now, we are live in Glendale. Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. Sam, I know you'll continue to dig. I think the surprising thing for perhaps many is that these are new and they have so many inspections, so many codes that they have to meet. Yeah, so that's an interesting piece to this because this used to be, this site actually used to be a landfill back in the 20s, 30s, as far into the 50s as we can tell from public records tied to Schlitz being in this space. So uh, we know the developer was aware of this. That's why they were conducting the preliminary testing. Uh, but it, right now, based on the public records we have reviewed, it looks like they're actually allowing some of these tenants to move in before that can that testing could be completed so you can imagine their frustration at learning all this. Mm, it begs the question is there a link? All right, we'll hear from you later. Thank you, Sam.